everybody and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin the Enhanced Edition We've just come out of Maradino's cave so I do believe we picked up the uh, bloodstone that belonged to, is it Frederick or something? I think that's a guy down here Which means we have to go this way I think Yeah, Frederick. I think it said when we looted it, Frederick's a bloodstone. Ah, uh, we've got the Spider Queen there as well. So we'll be able to do that fight while we're on. to Frederick's aid. He's been attacked, turned upon by his imp slave. Cast down this hillside like an aged parent of a cragged sea cliff, left to be devoured by arachnid monstrosities. And who are you exactly? Who Frederick is is unimportant. He is naught but a cog in the machinery of the greater good. But, since you ask, since you cannot bear to remain unknowing of this person, Frederick will tell you this. He is a devotee to the Goddess, to the Church of the Immaculate, to liberty, destiny, justice and beauty, to scholasticism, mysticism, aphorism, nepotism, neologism, disestablishmentarianism and the undead right to life. <laughs> uh, what about scepticism? Frederick finds himself wary of it, to be quite honest. You have an imp slave. Don't look so surprised. Imps have a long history of compulsory service to the superior races of Rivalon. Frederick would be a fool to refuse the services of the realm's finest bloodstone-sniffing beast on moralistic grounds, no matter how humane or well-reasoned. Okay, let's discuss this bloodstone. A valuable artifact. Precious like the silence in a house newly emptied of a visiting mother-in-law, it is able to heal even the gravest wounds, and it is a key component of the Immaculate Faith. The Bloodstone? Give it here! Come! Frederick wants to march back to the Immaculate Temple on two strong legs. Hmm. Yeah, let's give it to him. It certainly is. Luckily, we were here to help him out. Ah, Bloodstone, Goddess's chosen mineral, and the cause of and solution to Frederick's current trial. Frederick thanks you, stranger, though now he must go show that imp the force of his righteous fury. Uh, no, leave him alone. Oh, and why should I? That little mongrel tried to kill Frederick. Uh, no, no. Frederick must be forgiving like a grandmother towards her own children who haven't written in several weeks. What? No, 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 no. Intimidate, yes. And we win. Well, when you put it that way, Frederick sees your point. All right, let the beast remain. There's no skin off Frederick's nose. Frederick will take his leave then. Okay, well, hopefully I can kill you at a later date. Bloodstone, as powerful as it is sinister. Frederick, you. And we have another room opened. Wait for me! You spoiled a precious star stone. Only a heart of blackest black could suck dry the gift of the goddess. Prepare to meet. Your demise. Oh, right, okay, he is fighting us. Well, then, so he's me lucky for you to lay to date, then. There we go. Um, there was silence on him. Silence failed, of course, it did. Let's try and freeze him. Blood run cold. Ah, oh, that'll do. Anything else? No. Battering ram. Target's blocked. I run, they fall. I like this game. Is 
352 damage. Wow. All right. The force of Maxos is within me. Uh, might as well get that out ready. Summon undead warrior. Not much damage there. Try to knock him down as well. Immune to knock down. Alright, move forward a little bit. Try and bleed him. Bleeding failed. One hit, okay. <laughs> this being slowed in this area doesn't half slow everything down. Uh, he's come out of frozen, so let's try and finish him. Ooh, no. Oh, he gets go, does he? No. Let's have a look at these. You know, oh, I was really hoping to find something better. Ooh! Where's this lead? Ah, okay. Which might be an idea to come this way before we go. Now, I'll tell you what, we'll go back to this place first. I just want to see what that imp has to say, if we can uh, help him leave now, now that Frederick's dead. Let's see if it worked. And then we need to talk to these goblins, I think, before we go back to the... Um, the homestead. Alright, in you go boys and girls. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. No, 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 bad no. No, shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have. He must be. He must. A little imp is too weak to kill a great master. Too small. You know, if only Yox had courage. If only Yox were brave, like a like Jock scrambled into this cave to hide. Hide, hide from Master the, till the end of time. Do you think Master will find Yox here? Oh, but Yox simply can't run away. His legs are like marmalade. But what can Yox... Uh, I don't think I've ever met a creature so fearful as him ought to stay here at home. What's he doing carrying him as Master awaits his return? Some of Yox to visit some music. That's right. Every You're right. Yes, of course. Yox is master. Okay, we're well, going out of the cave. That's a, a bonus. Um, Medora. Oh, I pray the seven have struck me dumb or delusional. A source hunter sending a frightened oh. imp back to his slaver. Chills me to the bone, it does. Those of our order are meant to promote justice in Rivalon, comrade. How could you have condoned the precise opposite? Each and all of us have our own moments of failure, comrade. Okay. Let's see where he's gone. If he's gone back to uh, where Frederick was, it's 
weird that the game wouldn't acknowledge the fact that I've killed him. So I'm not sending him to his death or anything, I'm just getting him out of the cave. It's very strange. Come along, children. Out we go. She will just see from the cliff if he's gone down there or not. Yes, he's gone down there. Damn it. <laughs> I'll have to go and talk to him now. Yes, Frederick is a, a lump of dust on the floor. Yorks. You're out of the cave now, though. You're safe. Oh, master! My master! Cold and dead! Taken before his time! Well, I'll just be on my way, then. <laughs> and there he goes. Gone. Slaves and masters complete. So really, Medora, there's no need to chastise me. Uh, right, let's come back this way. It's level 14, what we level 15. I just want to get the uh, portal first before we do that. Pull the saving. I need to talk to the goblin grunt. Taking like a stand back, pig skin. You're not welcome on our hallowed grounds. There we go. Gold and goods. These are things we welcome. You may pass if you want, but speak to the great spirit totem. He'll decide your final fate. Until you do, you are forbidden to leave our tribe seat. Okay. Right. Warmest dragon. Now rise from the dead once more. And drink great what have we here? One of two. The two of one. The torn of time. <laughs> oh, I know all about you. Clueless outcast. More than you know yourself. Among these faithful minions of mine, you may stay unharmed. You may leave unmolested. But only if you indulge me. I wonder, don't you know? Reflect on that which was, is, and shall be. And I wonder how you would respond to a few hypotheticals, if hypotheticals indeed they are. Okay, fire away. Then let us begin. Say you meet two soldiers on a strip of beach. They impede your way, the discourteous drunks. Do you accept their orders to accompany them? Or do you stay true to your course and damn their lives? I would accept their orders. So would I. Now say you meet a starving man. He is eyeing raw fish on a merchant's stall as if it were the world's greatest treasure. Do you slap his hand bent on thievery? Or do you close your eyes to his lawless intent? I would slap his hands. So would I. And finally, say that you meet a creature in distress. A piece of burden, perhaps. Wounded while protecting his mistress or master when they were assaulted by lonely bandits. Do you go to great lengths to save it, even though it doesn't concern you in the least? Or do you leave it to die and become carrion bird supper? As for me, goblins, I would go to great lengths to save it. Challenge. So would I. You have answered me truthfully. You who have been ripped from the ages. Your words do not belie your actions. Hear the spirits speak, my goblins. 
It is not to be speared, this creature. It may freely dwell among your kind. Now stand, and fall to earth in reverence of this totem. Now stand. Oh, okay. Right. That means I can go out this exit and grab this portal. We will come back at a later date and kill all of those. <laughs> right, there we go. I just wanted to get that waypoint. Right, let's go back to the uh, end of time. Find out which room we've unlocked. When it decides to load, of course. Today. Ah, dear, dear Starstone Commanders, I do apologize for the state your homestead is currently in. It's like a zoo in here, or worse, an imparium. That's right. These red little blighters appeared as out of nowhere when another one of the portals became active. God seven or seven hundred. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's imps. <laughs> there's a discrepancy in that statement, I feel bound to point out. I know, I know, but really, they're zany, they're exasperating, they're unpredictable. And they have about as much use for history as a professional clairvoyant has. Tell me a bit more about this band of zigzagses. Band of? Why, <laughs> I never. I'm not one of them. Not one of those exiles that were slaves to demons and their own inadequacies. <laughs> but talk to them if you must hear their history. I haven't the stomach for the vagaries of my own species. No. What I need is the sound of a symphony, a whiff and a swig of old tasty wine, and above all, a shelter away from imps. Okay. Right, let's look at this portal then. Uh, I'll talk to them after. Uh, talk to the Dark Underlord. What a wonderful place this is. A lovely locale to rest my weary belly. Far better than the hellish plains we imps are used to. Yes, I think we'll stick around. Oh, with your approval, of course. Uh, what's that? We have it. Marvellous! Zigzags is rather apprehensive of you. Why is that? Jack, my, oh, that hoity-toity historian thinks he's so much better than us demon thralls just because he was never actually enthralled by demons. And yet he's no more than a lackey to the gods, isn't he? What's the difference? How about you tell me your story and I think it is an elaborate one. Right you are. Grab a drink, sit you down, and lend me all the ears you have. We imps, you see, are a mixed breed of demons and some other long-forgotten race, which means we aren't as evil as the devils that begot us. But I'll be damned twice over if we aren't as clever. We hail from the realm of Nemesis where demons have ruled supreme since, well, forever, really. Their knowledge of secrets and arcane scholarship is unparalleled. As unparalleled, in fact, as our inquisitiveness. Now, curiosity may have killed the cat, poor thing, but it enslaved us imps as well. We were blinded by the promises of knowledge the demons dangled in front of our eager faces. So you made a deal with demons. Not a very smart move. Well, Yes, well, in hindsight, it wasn't. But it seemed like a good idea at the time. Here's what happened. In return for our fair share of demonic knowledge, all of us imps had to sign our names in an indestructible book called the Codex, which was to be considered an oath of servitude, a contract of give and take for mutual benefit, and signed at free will. Fools that we were, we readily agreed, and thereby signed our way into slavery. For we had to do everything the demons told us to, and they, in turn, shared very little knowledge with us indeed. And yet, here you are. Quite so. That's because one day, a particularly clever imp amongst us devised an escape plan. 
if we would be able to steal the Codex and disappear with it, the demons would no longer be able to lay claim on us, for without the proof of the Codex, the contract between us would be broken. One night, as the demons lay sleeping after a most sordid orgy indeed, phew, we stole the Codex and fled from Nemesis through a rift. Ever since then, we've been on the run, for our masters swore they'd return the Codex to Nemesis so they can claim our servitude once more. So all we do is run and hide ad nauseam. Eternal fugitives are we. Uh, from your story, I got it. The Codex is your life's line to freedom. So where is it? He kind of got lost, to tell you the truth. That's what happens after generations of flight. Things get misplaced. And yet, wherever that bloody book may be, up until now, the demons still haven't found it. So, good news there. Only a matter of time until they do, though. Unless, of course, time ends first. Wouldn't that be a stroke of luck? No, no, I think I'll take my leave, thank you. Alright, let's go through the portal. I sense an eerie presence here. Yes, like creepy crawlies down the spine. Demons. Any books here we need to read? Oh, nearly missed that. for the end of time. Hmm. Why indeed? We have a mock. I think this is the demon that offers us the chance to respec. Not quite sure what effect that would have on uh Jahanno. If we did it. Oh, I didn't expect to find the likes of you here. Fallen stars, forgotten angels from on high. How long has it been? An age, an eon. But you've changed quite considerably, I see. Yes, the divine is but a glimmer in the farthest reaches of your gaze. Well, perhaps I can help you. One of your kind ought to be a bit stronger of arm. A bit quicker of wit, after all. And we are all counting on you, sir. Uh, one last question. What can you offer me? Yourself redone, of course. Your very parts and pieces reorganized into something simply better. Hmm. There must be a cost to having the reputation on it. Uh... And the talents and abilities. Um, I'm not going to do it yet. My autobiography will hardly serve you. What's far more relevant is what I see in you. Quite crucial, your survival, isn't it? And you do seem such a reasonable sort to boot. There's very little pleasure greater than dealing with a reasonable sort, I find. Uh, okay, I'll take my leave. I really don't want to upset Jehan yet. There we go, an update to the story. Pause if you want to read it. General's Tale. 
Anything else? Doesn't appear to be any part of another book here. Haven't missed it, have I? No. Right. See if Zigzag has anything to say before we head back. Yes, he might do. We might have another portal undone. Ah, wonderful! You're both here once more. Can you guess what's happened? Surely by now you know the signs. Or perhaps you can simply guess from how utterly giddy I am. Take a look. All your work has not been for naught. This last star stone you discovered has given the weaver just what she needed to mend another portion of the tapestry. Another tantalizing tidbit of long lost history awaits us. Another piece of your story is ours to discover. Oh, how very thrilling. For millennia, the god box was flanked by the two devoted guardians. But Astarte's playmate, a creature called the Trife, turned her attention to the forbidden box. I may know a way to destroy what's inside, hissed the scheming creature. Together, we can set the Guardians free. Open its lid, Astarte, and we can have a look together. Astarte trusted her friend and assented. She pitied the Guardians and welcomed a chance to free them. Let me help you, she whispered into the ear of one. I know your duty, but you both deserve a chance at freedom. Haven't you suffered enough of this chore? She asked the other. Look, your companion is free already. The guardians, unaccustomed to such attention, started. She had planted a seed of curiosity within them, rekindled a desire that had, for eons, lain dormant. Slowly, they glanced at one another, and the trife's trap was sprung. Missing threats, okay. And we have a conversation. So we're learning more and more about the story. Let's see what we have to say about this. We were seduced then, tricked into neglecting our duty for the briefest of moments. All we do is glance at one another. If that's a sin, there's not enough, not an innocent in all the world. True enough. We seem to be quite blameless for whatever may have transpired in the aftermath. Independent and egotistical, okay. Um, right. I salute you, my master. Other elementals lie in wait until with a word you command them to action. Which one of them, pray, has your preference? Um, let's go with... I remember that is you. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Thy will be done. Thank you. Set through this portal. Whoops, hang on a sec. We've got another conversation here. Medora. Oh no, bad daughter. Source Hunter. I have heard the tale of Prontua, a mortal who promised the god she would always fetch their water. She was driven mad by the unchanging task far before the god's thirst was quenched. Do you not find it strange that the gods would allow mortals to volunteer for such responsibilities? It was proper for the gods to honour the wishes of those brave, more brave mortals. It seems humanity is very free. Free even from the judgement of the gods. Free to find greatness and failure both. There are worse fates, I think. 
Yes, yeah, so, and I'm hoping that I'm doing your questions correctly, Bear Daughter, because I don't want you to join the dark side. I don't know if we got here anything. This place is positively brimming with the surge of storm and lightning. As good a place as any for an air elemental to set up shop. Let's make sure there's no books or letters we need to read. Lying around. Dearest guardians, how I rejoice at the sight of your growth, both in power and in prowess. And yet I cannot help but wonder, will it ever be enough? Will you craft yourselves once more into the warriors that you were? Oh, in the end you are like infants still, infants that would perish with a broken wail had they not their mother's milk to suckle. But you always were like children, weren't you? As are we all in the eyes of the gods. And yet they set an impossible task before you, then blamed you when you failed. How foolish even the divines can be, how lacking in compassion. I do feel like a child, being kept in the dark about so many things. I guess we'll have to find more Starstone and grow up. Uh, yes, that sounds like a, an excellent idea. Uh, right, let's go past the air elemental because there's another one here, I think. Yes, another book. The Ancient Diary. You cling to power, I cling to newfound freedom, but neither of us is free. The memory of her keeps us shackled. Let us meet and talk with the Guardians. Perhaps there is a chance of redemption still. Okay. Log updated. General story. Okay. Oh. Something in these. Anything else around here? Let's have a word with the uh, air elemental. Oh my. Hello. Forgive me. But you startled me. I guess my head was up in the clouds. Oh, me. Sorry. I was just thinking about what it would be like if humans ate with their noses instead of their mouths. <laughs> uh, anyway, what were you asking? Oh, yes. I saw how breezy and blowy you'd made this place. I thought it'd be the perfect place to clear my head. But not to worry. I'll earn my keep. My stock of air spells will blow your socks off. Okay, Trimmy, <laughs> air magic. Yes. Snort that spaghetti. Oh, oh, pardon, pardon. Yes. So, you'd like to learn to gust with the best of them, would you? Have a look. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, chain lightning. Well, I suppose we can take one of those. Have we already got invisibility? I think we have, but do we need it for somebody else? Take it just in case. Make invisible. Okay. Thunder jump. I don't think we have that. Nether swap. We don't have that. I don't think we have tornado either yet. Uh, this could be expensive. Master. Storm. Yeah, I'll take that. Wind of change. Uh, do I have that? I'll take one, just in case. Right, we've got anything to sell. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. these 
What are we up to? Let's get rid of some of these as well then. Crystal diamond, malachite. No, oh, that's not too shabby. Right, can we afford any of these? Adrenaline. Quite as dagger. Take wind up toy. Got these. Let's quickly check. I think. Let's have a quick look. Um, bear daughter. I'm not even sure if I give her the skill yet. Yeah, she already knows that. I'm not going to use a dagger, so there's no point doing that. Okay. Thank you. -da! I'll take my leave. Thank you very much. Before we go back, I just need to check these spells, see what's going on. I think it's uh, Scarlet that has the air spells, is it? Yes. Let's send those over. We might have to keep some of these for Jahan when we eventually bring him back on board. Which I will do once we've done Hunter's Edge, I think. I'll probably bring, I'll bring him back on then. Right, let's have a look, see if we can do any of these. Not in all this. Make it invisible. That's master. I'll do a want. Have a storm, I think. Need tornado. I'll have another swap. Can't learn it. Can have thunder jump. Right, we already know those. Uh, I think I'll equip that. It's only plus plus one due to level. How far are we off leveling? No, quite a way. We'll see how it goes with that. And I think that brings us to the end of the episode, I'm afraid. I think we're out of time. So next episode, we'll probably go and kill the uh, Spider Queen. I think that's probably next on the agenda and clear that area. Um, and then we can head over to Silver Glen and head to the Immaculate's... Uh, office there and head into the trap door. I think we got the key for that when we killed uh, Loic. Yeah, so we can head down there which will take us to another area in which to start. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching. This is All Grey, signing off.